Hi, I'm Storm Thorgerson of Norwegian Ancestry, and I'm a designer of album covers. When you meet a group and you talk about making a record cover, he's the guy everyone's like, we kind of want it to be like Houses of the Holy or Dark Side of the Moon. Storm said to me, I've been asked by Pink Floyd to do their album cover, you know, so I said, well, let's do it together. We started hypnosis actually in Poe's bathroom. And I remember the first few jobs we did was processed amongst the knickers of his then current girlfriend, which was still in the bath. Suddenly we were doing album covers. We were in business. By the time we were 22, we were in business. What Storm, as part of hypnosis, did in the 60s was that they really invented the concept of the dramatic album cover. It takes as long as it takes, and that's the end of it. If you want something good, you have to wait, and it's the same with Storm. Maybe it doesn't matter who, who cares whether it's art or not. You know, if a record sells quarter of a million, there's a quarter of a million homes with a little piece of us in it. Any sort of meeting with Storm runs along the same sorts of lines, which is he runs a sort of interview to find out what, what you want and how it should be, and then goes off and does whatever he wants. <laughs> You've got to remember that in the 60s and 70s and early 80s album covers were this big and then they had gatefold sleeves so we had a palette here we had, we had a, a canvas that we could you know we could paint with our palette on that was 24 by 12 inches wide you know what it is but not why it is you might know what it is but not how it is sirens on the rooftops waiting there's no ship sailing Groucho with his movies trailing Stands alone with his punchline failing In terms of the way we work, one of our abiding principles, if you like, or policies, is to do it for real. We actually make a sculpture, or stage an event, or hire a lot of models, or orchestrate actors, or rearrange objects, like an, in, like an installation, but usually outside, although not always outside. And these performances these acts, these happenings, these events are usually much better done as real, as for real, as real things. They, in their own way, were as cavalier as we were, and I liked that. We were trying to create, with Poe and Storm, music and vision that would have some kind of kinship. We often stage these things for real and don't do them in a computer because the reality has its own attributes. What you see is what you get and it's really fun to do a real thing, let me tell you. I'm one of the rare artists that actually got my own face on a hypnosis sleeve. He liked this idea of taking the mugshot, the face, which is normally the sort of selling vehicle for an artist, and then totally destroying it. I mean I am predominantly an image maker, so I try and come up with images that will suit the music.
gave Storm um, a drawing that I had done of of an empty bed, a single one. And I said, this is a, an image that to me says something. And he said, great, but let's have 500 empty beds. back again dragged by the force of some inner tide And then the second time they look at it, will they enter then this world of ambivalence, intangibility, the world of ideas that I'm trying to edge them into? He'll just say, well, I am who I am, accept me or not, and accept the talent I have, or forget it. In the contemporary world, rather than in a gallery, I'm trying to persuade the viewer to look again, to give the album cover a second look. So partly you look at it and say, well, that's pretty silly, or strange, or weird. What does it mean? 